What is going on, my Apex Legends gamers? As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about three things that I think should be added to Apex Legends that will dramatically improve the quality of the game. To get right into it, cheating in Apex Legends is probably the worst it has ever been. Not only is there a cheater in almost every high elo game of Apex Legends, but even the highest level of competition, ALGS, was infiltrated by a cheater named Destroyer2009. Long story short, he was able to install cheats on two pro players' computers, DZ Jen Burton and TSM Imperial Hal. Jen Burton was the first to get hacked by Destroyer2009, activating wall hack esp and tracers across the map you can even see right here that his chat was being flooded by messages that he wasn't even typing obviously this freaked him out and he didn't know what to do so he ended up leaving the game and i know what you're thinking wow al just got infiltrated by a cheater maybe they should just stop this tournament and not let it resume wrong in true ea fashion they allowed this thing to keep going which ended up getting the most popular apex pro imperial how hacked live on his stream like jen burton how was given hacks but instead of backing out of the game he just started blasting that's hacking and cheating on the big scale but let's reel it back to the day to day in almost every high elo game of apex legends there's at least one cheater in the game and that's being generous it's not uncommon at all to see teams that are cheating teaming together if you don't believe me check out this video by another creator named burno where he goes over a five dollar cheat that is running rampant in apex the reason why this is so frequent is when a player gets banned in apex for cheating all they have to do is make a new account level it up and hop right back into ranked there's no real barrier to stop them from getting right back into the game and i think a good way to combat this is to add sms verification in order to play ranked. What that means is you have to verify your phone number with your EA account in order for you to queue into ranked, which means you have to have an active phone number in order to queue in and play. And once you're caught and banned with that phone number, it can never be used again to register another account, which means every time a cheater wants to make a new account, they have to get a new phone number, verify it, and repeat this process over and over again, which is actually really tedious. I know what you're gonna say, oh, there's workarounds, there's spoofs, this, that, and the third. I don't care. This is better than nothing. There are tons of examples of this in use, like in ranked Rainbow Six Siege, and it's actually very effective. I completely understand that cheating in Apex Legends is a multifaceted issue. I feel like this is a bare minimum and a good start given the results in other games. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually something I care about a lot. I think it's super, super important that Apex Legends at least considers adding a custom server browser and equipping their community with tools to make their own game modes. This is most observable in a small indie game you may have heard of called Fortnite, where they've actually equipped their players with the tools to create their own game modes and have them publish on the main menu of the game. All you have to do is click over one tab and you get to see all these game modes with thumbnails, titles, and you get to see how many people are playing them all in the main menu. There are countless game modes ranging from 1v1 box fights to obstacle courses or flat out escape rooms and puzzles. And this is just scratching the surface. There's endless amounts of game modes for you and your friends to play. But when we take a look at Apex, all we have is mixtape, which consists of gun run, TDM and control and whatever LTM they decide to throw up, which is probably going to be three strikes from now on. Now, there is a way to make your own game modes using a client called R5 reloaded but this is not supported by ea or respawn in the slightest in case you didn't know i edit for a streamer named his watson and he has funded and helped create tons of game modes with the assistance of cafe columbia and these game modes were unreal we were playing prop hunt in apex legends we were playing duck hunt in apex legends we even recreated our own halo inside of apex legends we even made a game mode that doesn't break too far away from the core mechanics of apex where you have unlimited evo shields so the more damage you do the more armor you got and it was on honestly so insane. In just those few hours of recording sessions for those videos, I had infinitely more fun than I did in the 1500 hours I put into regular Apex. And the craziest part about this is all these modes were created by one guy. Essentially, if we had the idea, all we had to do was send it to Cafe and we'd have something playable within one to two weeks. And if this can be done by one guy, what stops the rest of the community from doing the same or even teaming up to make better experiences? I feel like logically this doesn't make any sense for EA and Respawn to completely ignore. I mean, if you take a look at Fortnite, they literally equip their community with the tools to create these game modes. Once the mode is created, it undergoes a submission and review process. And once Epic clears it, it gets added to the game mode browser. You can literally see in a season three build of Apex Legends that a server browser is operational and functional. And you can already see that there's tons of modes available to play, whether they're aim trainers, obstacle course, or movement trainers. Now imagine you didn't have to use any sort of third-party client. You could just boot up Apex Legends and browse what you want to play for the day. I think this is a great alternative for whenever you get bored of ranked or grinding pubs all day. And it's something that really needs to be considered by respawn oh and i don't want to forget to mention that if your game mode is popular on fortnite you get paid by epic for the game mode depending on how many players you have every month you generate money for people playing the mode and of course epic gets to take a cut out of that and we know how much ea loves their money 
point. I'm just throwing out jokes at this point, but I really do think this would revolutionize Apex. At the very core, it has the best movement and best feeling FPS mechanics out of any game on the market right now. If you work together with a community who is truly passionate and loves and cares about this game, we could end up having some of the best modes Apex Legends has ever seen and everyone wins. The third and final feature I think should be added to Apex Legends is a replay system. This realistically should have already been in the game. I mean, it's good for regular players, pro players, content creators, everyone. Like how many times you had a cool play that you wish you could go check out from the third person, your teammate's perspective, or even the enemy you just shit on. And yes, I understand that all the consoles and PC players can record their own clips, but it doesn't have the same effect as a replay system. And I'm not even gonna bring up the Boogeyman Fortnite here, but even another game like Counter-Strike has a replay system where you can go back and create epic frag montages like like this and getting clips like this is damn near impossible without a replay system i feel like a feature like this isn't hard to add at all but it's been completely abandoned by tons of current game developers we can even go take a look at older games like black ops 2 and black ops 1 that had theater mode on release and most notably one of the greatest theater modes ever halo 3 where you can go in the dolly mode and create your own unique camera pathways or even slow down the vod with a click of a button and halo 3 was released all the way back in 2007 fast forward 17 years and we can't get a replay system in apex legends one of the most funded games of all time. This is also plaguing another game, Valorant. The developers promised their community a replay system only a few months after the game's release. Fast forward four years and it's still not released and it looks like the developers have completely abandoned this promise. But the funniest part about that is another creator named That Carrot Fella demonstrated how easy it is to actually create a replay system with limited resources. So if we circle this back around and look at the amount of resources available to a game like Apex Legends, how can we not have a replay system? This has been a huge demand in the community for a long time and overall would increase the quality of content coming out across the board and provide so much utility to regular players and pro players. So yeah, those are the three things that I think should be added to Apex Legends. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to leave a like as it helps the channel out a ton. And let me know in the comments what you think about the three features I want added to the game and let me know what you want added to the game. That's all. Bye bye. Peace.